Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at GMAC 10. Now, GMAC 10 is a Linux clone of Mac OS, well, at the time it was OS 10, that is based around the era of Mac OS Mavericks, Mac OS Yosemite, Mac OS El Capitan. This was meant to be a direct successor to Pair OS 8, which we took a look at back in October of 2020. It's very interesting to see some of these old Linux clones and how they perform. So let's take a look, let's boot up this virtual machine and get straight in to the GMAC 10 installer. All right, and here we are, GMAC Linux 10.4. So does this mean that this is based off of Ubuntu 10.04? I'm not entirely sure. I have not done much research on this at all. I like to jump straight into my OS reviews and just see. So this is the startup screen. Um, back in the era of Mac OS Mavericks, the back screen was actually gray, like it was this color. Um, I'm not sure if I like the logo or not. I do think that it's a good way to avoid the copyright on Apple's logo, um, but it, it just looks a little weird. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. All right, and here we are in the GMAC 14.04 setup. This is a difference from the installer boot menu where it said 10.04. I'm not really sure what OS this is running. Is it 10.04 or 14.04? Um, Based on the installer, I'm going to say this is probably actually 14.04, just the way that the installer works and looks. Um, going through, we're just going to, you know, I've, I've looked at many Ubuntu distributions. I've never really messed with 10.04, but this looks more modern than 10.04. Uh, we're just going to name ourselves GMAC and make a very simple password of GMAC1, and we're installing. One thing I noticed straight off the bat about this installer is that unlike most Ubuntu distributions, there's no slideshow. This is just copying files. This is literally just the progress and nothing else, which I, I guess is okay. I'm not really sure which I prefer. All right, and here we are. We are now booting into GMAC 10. Um, so the first thing straight off the bat that I notice is that this login screen does not look customized at all. This is kind of looks like your regular Ubuntu login screen. Um, so we're going to click on the user that we created and then enter our very safe and secure password here. And let's get into that freshly installed desktop for the first time. And right off the bat, a new version of Ubuntu 16.04.7 is available. That's weird. We've seen three versions, 16.07, 14.04, and 10.04. Anyways, let's try and change the display resolution here to something a little better. And then just so we don't lag out the operating system, we're going to scale it up just so it's easier to see. Not as high quality, but it, it'll be better for the viewing experience. All right, so now we can officially start our review of GMAC 10. Um, so the first thing I notice is this looks like a combination of both like Mac OS Mavericks and Mac OS Yosemite with the icons and just the different themes throughout the OS. Um, just taking a look at the dock right now, Taking a look at the top bar, I mean, we can see like the shading is more like Mac OS Mavericks. Um, some of the icons in the dock, like Music and Safari and the App Store, are Mac OS Yosemite El Capitan. But then you have stuff like the Launchpad, which is themed as Mac OS Mavericks. The dashboard instead is replaced instead of Finder, and it brings up just your typical Linux search screen. Um, there's the search bar right where it used to be back in Mavericks. Um, language settings. And this looks to be Spanish, maybe, just based off Domingo. I'm not really sure um, anything else. It could be Spanish. I could be wrong, though. Um, then we have our volume and power settings, which have not been customized down in the top right corner. In the dock, we have the Files app, which the X button is on the right side, unlike the Mac OS. Um, we have our Launchpad, which actually does mimic the Mac OS Launchpad pretty well. We have Firefox Web Browser which, oh, this this looks old. Um, I believe this is 47 just based off the URL, but I want to double check that. Um, I actually don't know how to find the version info in Firefox. I don't use Firefox that often. Oh, there we go, about Firefox. Yep, this is Firefox 47. Um, I'd like to believe that is very far out of date. Actually, let's find the latest version of Firefox just to show how old this OS is. 112. Okay, so this is definitely a very old distro. Evolution for the mail client, uh, the contacts app, uh, videos, which is just a reskinned Linux one, maps, which that's a very nice map. I believe it's fully capable of navigating me where I need to go at any time. 
Um, we have Shotwell, which is the photo viewing application. We have the player music, which actually looks surprisingly like iTunes. Next up, we have the GMAG App Store, which is literally just the Ubuntu App Store, um, which I don't see why you need anything else, to be honest. Document Viewer, which is themed as the kind of book app in macOS. Um, pretty cool, to be honest. I wouldn't have thought to add that because I would have thought it would be for like a book app and not just that. Um, going on to the terminal, pretty standard terminal. I mean, you can't really do much about that. We have system settings, which looks like your regular Ubuntu settings. Uh, maybe a few macOS icons, but not that much really here different from older versions of Ubuntu and actually macOS. And just scrolling through some of the pre-installed applications that came with this OS, um, we can see how glitchy this actually is. Um, the dock keeps freezing and it wouldn't let me open the applications app. Um, it's definitely showing some signs of weakness here. Um, maybe it's just because we don't have VMware tools installed or we're scaling up or anything like that, but it is definitely not an optimal experience. All right, and here we go. So we have the applications manager in applications um, contacts, files, documents, gedit, maps, GIMP, Shotwell, SimpleScan, Empathy, Firefox, Transmission, Evolution, um, the entire Linux Office Suite, Personal File Sharing, Brazero, Cheese, Player Music, Videos, Config Editor, which is configured like Xcode. Um, and then you just have a whole bunch of settings. I would assume these are just quick access. And you have like your system stuff, like disk usage analyzer, things like that. There's that software update wanting us to finish it off again. So just going into settings, let's take a look at the about. Maybe that'll give us a little bit more detail um, on what this OS actually is. Um, but no, it does not. That is very nice. So this was GMAC 10. It's a very interesting build of my Mac OS clone. Um, it was good to close, but we've seen better, honestly. ParaOS Cupertino, ParaOS NiceCore. Um, they, were, they were a lot closer to their originals than this was. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe and you're on here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. That being said, I'll see you all in the next one.